Safety alert celebratory gunfire may be a tradition, but the practice has proven deadly and happens more often than you think. Mobile police are ramping up patrols to keep you safe tonight. The department says officers will be out in full force patrolling and there will be nearly 30 hotspot locations. NBC 15's Cassie Fambro shows us one place bullets are found even years later. Cassie. Well, Andrea, some firearms are so powerful that they shoot up so far. The force of the bullet coming down is like a brick coming down off the top of the RSA tower. That force can mean roof damage if a bullet hits your house. Uh, when the bullet lands, it actually will go in about half an inch sometimes into the shingle, create a hole in your roof, which can lead to a roof leak. Inspect Mobile's owner Doug Johnson keeps an eye out for bullets in every roof he inspects. Over the last eight years, our company has found about five bullets that have been lodged in the shingles on the roofs of the houses that we've been inspecting. Here's one example Johnson snapped a photo of, a bullet embedded about a quarter inch into a roof. Completely surprised when I found my first bullet in a roof. Finding a bullet made Johnson think of how much worse things could have been. It's caused significant damage and luckily it was a roof and not something else like a, a person or a pet or a car. That's why Mobile Police are on high alert for celebratory gunfire. Ask that people don't do that. Don't you know take your weapon and fire them into the air for celebratory reasons during the New Year's because what goes up must come down. 80% of injuries from celebratory gunfire involve the head or arms, making it potentially deadly as well as illegal. To shoot a gun in the city limit is, is illegal. But it happens enough to where inspectors like Johnson know where to look. You look at the granules, you can see where uh, a bullet might have gone into the roof. Now, cities like Montgomery and Birmingham have technology called Shot Spotter that detects gunshots. In Mobile, though, we just have to play it by ear. For now, reporting live in downtown Mobile, Cassie Fambro, NBC 15 News.